What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another figure review. Today we're going to be looking at some Acid Rain 118 uh, figures, a few custom figures, and they are based off of the recently released uh, Acid Rain Desert Aegis Exoskeleton Armor. Um, recently Acid Rain came out with the just the standalone exoskeleton suit, uh, Aegis suits, so we're looking at today the Desert version. But I have the uh, construction version with a custom figure and now a desert version inside or with a custom uh, acid rain figure. So let's take a look. As far as the box, there's not much to look at. You do get a cool image of the exo suit kind of hanging on the uh, hanger there and the armory. So it looks really cool. Um, not a lot to talk about with the box. What you get is just the exosuit itself. So I was uh, fortunate to have a custom uh, acid rain figure to use. So this was a uh, spray commando body um, that I had just with everything stripped off. So I was able to put the exosuit armor on this figure really easily because he didn't have the, uh, the belt or the um, plate carrier, any of that stuff attached to them. So it made it really easy. So I would suggest if you do get these exosuit figures, they do go good on just more plain body customs. So the uh, spray commando would be a good uh, figure to use for this desert set. So let's take a look. As far as the vest, that's the first part you get. You have some nice detail there, some nice weathering. You have some pouches up front, so that's really nice. Um, on the back of it is your backpack with the robot arms and the uh, two cannons. These are nicely detailed too. You have some nice weathering. I like the uh, the desert or the sand uh, paint scheme. You do have silver painting for the uh, underside barrels of the two uh, cannons, so that looks really good. And then you kind of have the uh, you know power pack, and then you have on the arms some pistons for the uh, shoulder joints, which looks great. Some nice silver paint there. And then you have the belt, the second piece. Um, you have some pouches there, some magazine pouches. And then you have the leg portion of the exosuit. Again, you have some nice pistons for the ankles. And everything is uh, nicely painted and detailed. I really like the uh, weathering on the back. And then the arms are nicely detailed too. Again, you have the, uh, the piston there, the uh, kind of not shin guard, but uh, elbow guard and forearm guard. And then you have these uh, little wrist guards that do articulate, it's a little hinge joint, so you can open them up and close them. So that looks really good. So again, I'm a big fan of these just little standalone uh, acid rain sets. I hope to do more of them. So this is my uh, custom desert Aegis uh, figure. I think it looks great with the uh, spray uh, commando head. And that helmet so you can see he's got the ski mask and then you can just put the helmet down and i really like this because it matches the uh the exosuit so again um if you're gonna buy this desert suit i would get either a custom uh acid rain figure something that's stripped down or you could do it yourself with the spray uh commando now here is all three aegis exosuits so far so you have the uh, desert this is another custom. This is the um, construction or engineering version. And again, this is on a uh, custom body with the uh, spray commando helmet again. This one seems to be a little bit more uh, weathered, or maybe it just looks more weathered because of the orange and the black. I think just that contrast of colors makes the, uh, the black wash kind of stand out a little bit. And then I really like this uh, bigger rifle that goes with it and matches it. Um, I didn't, I bought this figure as a custom together, so I didn't get the second pack and make one myself. So I don't know with the engineering set if it comes with this gun or not. Uh, I believe it does though. And then finally, this is another custom Aegis, but it, this is the original Aegis exosuit, just with a different, uh, body or a different figure, I should say underneath. Um... Again, this is just black, but it's pretty much the same deal. If I had to pick my favorite, um, I really like the weathering on the engineering one, just with the black wash, but I think my favorite would be this custom here, the uh, desert 
uh, version or the Desert Soldier. I just really like the look of that. Reminds me again of that uh, movie Edge of Tomorrow or Live, Die, Repeat, that Tom Cruise movie where all the guys were in the uh, exosuits. And again, just with the uh, spray rifle, um, just everything looks great with this Desert Trooper. And then just to show you uh, in a spray commando, this uh, figure actually came with this head. So I believe this is the uh, Kelsey head, but um, this also looks great on uh, just a regular a spray commando. But pretty much my desert uh, custom is just the spray commando body, but with the vest and the belt removed so I can put on the exosuit. And again, if I wanted to swap heads, I could take this, uh, this head off and put it on my desert trooper. So I just wanted to show you a, a little head swap for a, I guess this would be a custom, a spray commando. So, hope everyone liked the video. Again, if you were to only get one, um, I guess the best value would be get to get the original Aegis exosuit because it comes with a figure and a gun where the uh, engineering set and the Desert Aegis set just come with the exosuit and you have to provide the uh, figure for it. But if you like doing custom figures, um, definitely pick this up and you can make a really cool uh, exosuit soldier. So hope everyone liked the video. I will have some more uh, Acid Rain and Joy Toy stuff in the next few weeks uh, when some uh, more of the figures get released. So thanks a lot for watching. Bye.